The rich and diverse variety of life on Earth, in all its forms, is the foundation of our well-being, providing food, clean water, air, and much of our energy. Biodiversity and nature's contributions to people are at the heart of not only our survival, however, but also of our cultures, identities, and enjoyment of life. Despite its critical importance, biodiversity continues to decline in every region of the world, endangering economies, livelihoods, food, water, and energy security, and the quality of life of people everywhere. The Intergovernmental Science Policy Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services, IPBES, recently published four landmark regional assessment reports, one each for the Americas, Africa, Europe and Central Asia, and Asia and the Pacific. The result of three years of work by more than 550 leading experts from over 100 countries, the four IPBES reports are the most important expert contribution of the past decade to the state of knowledge about biodiversity and nature's contributions to people. The reports focus on answers to key questions about the importance of biodiversity, progress being made to conserve it, and the threats and opportunities for a sustainable future. With the best available information communicated effectively, people all over the world can make better decisions and take more effective action to meet global commitments such as the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, the Aichi Biodiversity Targets, and the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. The Americas are biologically and culturally diverse, with extensive wilderness areas and seven out of the 17 most biodiverse countries in the world. The region accounts for 40% of nature's capacity to contribute to people's demands. Yet 65% of these contributions are now in decline, with 21% declining strongly. The IPBES report shows that despite being home to just 13% of the global population, the Americas are responsible for almost 23% of the world's ecological footprint. Over the next 30 years, the region's population is projected to increase by 20% and gross domestic product to nearly double, resulting in further increases in consumption. By 2050, human-induced climate change will be the fastest growing driver negatively impacting biodiversity in the Americas. Combined with unsustainable agricultural practices, this is projected to further degrade most land-based, freshwater and coastal ecosystems. Although the protection of key biodiversity areas has increased, fewer than 20% are currently protected. The report emphasizes the need to better utilize indigenous and local knowledge, implement effective conservation policies, and make human-dominated landscapes more supportive of biodiversity and nature's contributions to people. Some countries in the Americas may achieve aspects of the Aichi biodiversity targets, the Sustainable Development Goals and their climate commitments, but continued biodiversity loss could significantly undermine these efforts. The message from all four IPBES regional assessment reports is that, with the exception of some positive examples, biodiversity and nature's capacity to contribute to people are being degraded, reduced and lost due to a number of common pressures, including habitat stress, the over-exploitation and unsustainable use of natural resources, air, land and water pollution, increasing numbers and impacts of invasive alien species, as well as climate change, among others. The best available evidence, gathered by the world's leading experts, points us now to a single conclusion. We must act to halt and reverse the unsustainable use of nature, or risk not only the future we want, but even the lives we currently lead. Fortunately, the evidence also shows that we know how to protect and partially restore our vital natural assets. IPBES. Science and policy 
for people and nature.